and welcome to episode 5 of Lewis's Adventures Plays Pokemon Go with me, Lewis Marinucci, as your host. As you all know, recently it was announced by Niantic and of course they had people like my good friend Pokemon Master Holly and Reversal, just to name a few, announce the Pokemon Go Travel and Global Catch Challenge. So far, We've unlocked the bronze tier. Soon we'll be unlocking the silver tier. And then hopefully we'll get to the gold tier. And be able to catch the rare and elusive Farfetch'd. Which is only usually caught in Asia. Like in Japan or South Korea. Okay, we're walking down 20th Street. Come on. Check to see who's raiding these gems. Okay. Let's try to take down some of these gems. If we can. get from spinning this Pokestop. Oh, three Pokeballs and one Great Ball. Nice. Let's see if we can check to see who's luring. Nope. I would know who's... I don't know that person's luring. No. No. I don't know who that, that person is. Hopefully it's not a spoofer. Street, near the library, near the Barnes Institute, which is along the parkway, which is near where I live. Let's appraise this thing first. Okay, not a very good one, so we'll transfer it again to the professor. Spin this Pokestop. Pokemon Master Hall. 
streaming right now. And I'm gonna jo join her in helping her catch more Pokemon. Yes, guys, right now. So we can get Farfetch. About my trip to Mexico, everyone. In two weeks, I'll be going there, scuba diving with this nonprofit organization called Dive Heart, and we're going to be in Cozumel. And while I'm there, I'll be making videos about my trip, and I'll also hope to catch a corsola or a hair cross or two while I'm there. Pokemon here, a Pidgey and a Noctu. Let's catch them both. Continue. 
continue contributing to the challenge. Okay, now we're gonna throw it. Curveball, though not a good one. Let's appraise this one. Very good. I still need candies. Let's get this not to. Let's wait till the attack's over. And yet, I didn't throw another excellent or gr great curveball. And we got it. Praise this. Definitely not a good one. So that means more, not two candies. Had to take this gym back earlier from spoofers who don't like to abide by the rules and illegally think they have every right to fake their location when it comes to catching Pokemon fr from around the world that are normally not caught around here to even placing Pokemon in gyms which can be annoying and a pain in the neck now we're on our way to the Eastern State Penitentiary where we'll be able to catch some Pokemon while walking around the, the historic prison. The spinner act just spawned. Praise this. Definitely not a good one, so that means more spinner rack candies for me. Another knock two. Okay. That was poor timing. Now let's and that was a nice throw. Nice curveball there. And we got it. Let's appraise this. Definitely another bad one. That means more candies again. Another spinner rack. Praise it. Definitely another bad one. That means more spinner rack candies. We got a farmer's market, which usually comes here on Thursdays, but due to Thanksgiving Day, it's been moved to Wednesday just today. Here we are, we're approaching the Eastern State Penitentiary. If you want to learn more about this prison, be sure to check out episode 7 which I did a documentary about this place. Now let's spin this gym. Though I wish I could put my Pokemon in there, however it's full. See, we got some potions. I, got a po I mean, one potion, some berries, and some Pokeballs. Let's spin this Pokestop. I sure wish Niantic would, would fix the, the spelling of this Pokestop because it's incorrect. Let's catch the Sentret. Okay, let's, let's appraise it. Oh. Catch this Pidgey here. And he 
here we go. Now let's appraise this one. Let's spin this Poke Stop and see what we get. Oh, Pokeballs and a Raspberry. And here's the Eastern State Penitentiary's entrance. And of course, the prison has been changed and modified over the years. So we're about to go in and catch some more Pokemon. Just as soon as I catch this Noctu over here. Okay, let's try a Great Ball now. And we got it. Now let's appraise this one. Definitely a bad one that means more candies. Oh, a Bell Sprout. Great throw there. Try again using a great ball. We got a nice throw this time. And we caught it. Now let's appraise this one. Definitely a bad one with bad ivy, so that means more candies. Well, now it is official. We have unlocked the silver tier and double stardust. Now the last and final tier we need to work on unlocking is the gold tier. And then we'll have Farfetch. In the meantime, I bring you back to your regularly scheduled programming. Well, we're almost there in regards to unlocking Farfetch. This has been a busy week so far. And it keeps getting better and better. Hopefully by this weekend we'll finally be able to catch the rare and elusive Farfetch. Normally native to places like Japan, South Korea, Hong Kong, you name it. In the meantime, stay tuned for when I do get word that we, we can finally catch this rare Pokemon.
Well, we've reached... We've reached over 2 billion catches. And we only have 188 billion to go. And I will cover the moment I catch my first Farfetch and film it. Until then, everyone, stay tuned. Well, I just completed a quick Metapod raid, and now I'm on my way home. We are st still getting closer and closer to catching Farfetch. And when that happens, stay tuned. I will have a huge announcement when we finally do get to catch this rare bird. Well, we did it. We finally caught 3 billion Pokemon. And now Farfetch is officially released. When I finally catch my first Farfetch, I will let you all know. Stay tuned. Well, we're about to cross the street and catch a Farfetch. Since it just spawned. Just spawned. Oh, that's Skull. Shiny check. Nope, not a shiny. And here we are, the moment you've been waiting for. Farfetch. Yes! Yes, we caught it. Definitely another region exclusive caught. Now let's appraise it. Ooh, definitely a good one. Definitely must keep this one. And it's a female. I'll take it. Well, I did it. I finally caught my first Farfetch at last. Even though my video is not sponsored by Niantic, I was still inspired by my good friend Pokemon Master Holly to want to cover and do a video about this event. And I thank her for inspiring and of course also appearing in clips that I shot during this event. If you like this video, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. Be sure to hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. As I always say, it's time for adventure!